Don't mind me. Just foam rolling my lower back, working on my fitness. Ooh. Woo! Oh, I had some lower back pain and I'm foam rolling my lower back. Maybe you see a lot of people in the gym doing that. I'm gonna tell you why you probably don't wanna do that. Probably one of the worst things you can do is foam roll your lower back, right? So typically you see somebody on the foam roll at the gym, lower back hurts. And what do they do? They get on here and start rolling out because it feels good. And I'm working on my fitness, foam rolling my lower back. Oh, that could actually be more detrimental than anything you do. So let's talk about why you do not want to foam roll your lower back. So when we think about the upper back, right, from right there, that's my thoracic spine. So the thoracic spine, here's something cool about that area, which is why you could foam roll that area, is it has the ability to disperse the force on the spine. So you have your shoulder blades up top, and then you also have your rib cage bones that articulate from your thoracic around that upper spinal area. So when someone's on here, typically, and they're foam rolling their upper back or that T-spine, the force is dispersed amongst the shoulder blades and also the rib cage. And then also, because a lot of people sit in this concave, everything's pulled forward, this is gonna help to open up, right? And get some extension, which is what we want in that position. But then when you focus on rolling at uh, the lower lumbar area, let's think about this. Now you could go online and it says that over half of Americans will suffer from some type of lower back injury in the workforce. Just think about that, all right? Obviously it's something that plagues Americans, plagues, plagues most people in the, in, in the entire world, right? We're sitting down, we're in a chair, we're uh, in a car, in a seat to a car, we're driving from place to place. And so there's a lot of this, a lot of poor posture that we have there. So here's the problem, whenever you start to foam roll that lower spine, this lumbar area, what happens? Your body will guard, so your abs will want to brace to kind of take you out of that extended position here because it knows like, hey, something's wrong and it tries to guard by bracing here so you're not gonna get the benefit. But also, if you have something wrong with the lower back, and you don't know what the heck is going on, you could be doing more damage than you think. So an example could be like um, stenosis, right? So that's like a uh, narrowing of the spinal canal, right? And so you don't even know what you have, but you may have some type of uh, spinal de bone degeneration, right? Spondyla, to where your, your spine is degenerating, you're like, yeah, back problems, I don't know what's up and you're just putting more pressure on the nerve there, right? So we don't want to do that. Instead, you want to focus on foam rolling the upper back because it actually has the ability to support the force that you put on it from the foam roll, as opposed to foam rolling that lower back. See, if there's something wrong with the lower back, we always say this, don't look at that area, look specifically above or beneath it, right? So it can be your, your quads or your hips, right? Muscles surrounding the hips or more upward, right? And so we wanna look at those muscles. You can even start to foam roll uh, kind of like your uh, glute medial, medial and target those areas to help to alleviate any type of uh, stiffness or tension you may feel in the lower back. So look above or look below for areas you can foam roll and stay away from that lower lumbar area. Um, you could be doing more damage by applying pressure to nerves when you don't know what the heck is going on with the lower back. So again, I urge you, stay away from foam rolling the lower back, focus above or beneath, around the hips, the muscles of the glutes, get stronger glutes, and uh, that should be able to help you. And if not, see a physician to get more in-depth look at what's going on with the back. But hey guys, hopefully this helps. Got this question quite a bit. Uh, do not foam roll your lower back. And my battery's about to die. Ugh.